Hi, I'm Chad with WC Branham Incorporated. In this video, we will be discussing how to properly size a pneumatic rodless cylinder for your next application. Sizing a rodless cylinder requires consideration of a few variables that will determine the size, style, and installed options of the cylinder that you require. First, you must consider the load to be moved and its orientation. Is the load moving horizontal, vertical, or at an incline? What is the guiding member that will be supporting and guiding the load? We must consider the coefficient of friction of the guiding member and use that to determine how much force the cylinder will be required to provide. For a horizontal application, it will simply be the load times the sliding coefficient of friction. For a vertical application, the moving force required will be the full load weight. The other is the style of cylinder that you wish to use. There are a number of styles of cylinders available today. Each have their benefits. Some have a variety of guiding options available that can handle uh, light to very heavy loads. Others provide an economical choice, which uh, simply provide a moving force to move an already guided load. Once your moving force has been determined, then consider the bore size of the cylinder required to provide that force. The other important variable to determine that will be the pressure available to you. The bore size of the uh, cylinder you choose in that bore area times the pressure available will give you the moving force. It's recommended to size your cylinder to have approximately 20% moving force than the load will require to account for losses. It is important to consider these variables when choosing your next pneumatic rodless cylinder. And for more information and assistance, contact our technical sales group or visit our website at wcbranham.com.